This video is sponsored by Christoph Frey. For excellent low poly hard games, check the link in the description below for some of his works. What's up, y'all? Boogie Knight here, and welcome back to another demo. Tonight we're playing the demo for Demerlicht, which is advertised as a third-person indie horror lore-rich game. It is currently free to download on Steam, um, so if you'd like to see it, I'll put a link in the description below. I believe it's also available for download on Game Jolt as well. Um, I know next to nothing of this game. Um, it just kind of came across my radar on Steam when I was looking at demos. Um, it, from what I can gather, the title, um, Damerlick is, which I'm probably destroying right now, is German for Dusk or Twilight, um, and by the fact it says Lord Heavy kind of makes me wonder if it has something related to the Twilight of the Gods, uh, from Norse mythology, but there we go, I can't stop talking about the lore. Anyways, um, basically from what I've gathered according to the description, this is, game is set to be released sometime soon, uh, no release date has been done, um, something about your soul being trapped in the void, and I have to find three lights that are attached to three decisions, so this makes me believe this might have something to do with, uh, death and redemption, so with that being said, enough is enough, let's dive right in, shall we? This is the demo for Damonict. At first glance, it kind of almost reminds me a little bit of, uh, Inner Friend. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, okay, so... Or, little blob. Okay, so... Wants to move... Yep. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, spacebar to jump. Can we sprint? Well, probably not. Um, little black blob. But then again, you know, part of me wonders... If, you know, when people die, for those that believe in the Judeo-Christian afterlife, um, what is it like? How does your spirit ascend or descend since there's millions from all over the universe? And I'm not trying to get metaphysical here, but just think about that. I love these graphics so far. I like how they're minimalistic. That it kind of has that reminiscent of low poly, which I very much enjoy because it makes the mind work a little bit harder. And I like how our spirit is slowly getting darker as we are in the roundabout part of the void. Either that or just being blocked by other creatures. I don't know why I'm holding that shift. Um, yeah. I don't know if this is a project or is this some, uh, the developer's first project. I think it's only one person um, according to the Twitter page, but again, hang on. I gotta look a little bit more. So we're basically circling the drain. Spirits descending. I mean, I suppose we could fall down into the pit. Or I'm sure we'd do that anyways. Uh, over here. Okay, so E doesn't do anything. Clicking the mouse doesn't do it. I'm sure we'll figure that out later on. There was no description um, for controlling any controlling the character or the blob. So, yep, okay, down we go, into the pit. There's no way on our way to go, we really are circling the drain. Alright, there we go. Yeah, very inner friendish, and I, res I respect that. When the low, heavy sky weighs like a lid upon the spirit aching for the light, and all the wide horizon's line is hid by a black day sadder than any night, by John Collins Squire. Interesting. I like that quote, actually. Kind of... the hell happened here? Yep, there we go. Kind of... Whoa. Nowhere. Actually... I'm sorry, but at first glance, this kind of almost reminds me of things betwixt the intro to Dark Souls 2. I mean... Okay, so... Obviously, we should go straight there to the cathedral. Almost looks a little bit like the cathedral at Milan, or the Dark Souls crowd, and Orlando. Trees over there. This is the closest thing, so let's go ahead and start by going over here. Actually, hang on. Okay, so can we... Okay, so we can't... Sp whatever the version of sprinting is, can we take fall damage? Nope. We're good. Oh, hang on, what is this? I'm guessing it's probably just like these other glowing flowers. 
I mean, it says something about light, so I mean, I suspect that's the object of. Whoa. That is the object of our quarry. What is this? Is there some sort of gate? Um, hang on. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and click every button. Boom, boom. And see if anything sticks. Oh, never mind. P is the pause button. Okay, well, that's the FPS. We're good with that. Sorry. Um, whoa. Okay, um, I like the art style of this. Once again, kind of a little bit reminiscent of um, Szymanski's Dusk. Or also, lesser known, a little bit of Doorways. More so, Holy Mountains of Flesh, and we have a Gallows. What? Okay. Um. Hang on. Okay. Um. So we got. I guess. Okay, that's probably like a tutorial thing. Got some buckets. We're just like just dropping it. Nope. Oh, oh, thank God for you. I don't think going down that hole would be a good thing. Another gallows. Um. Yeah. So when it says attaching the light to three different decisions, I wonder if there's the light is related to those doors with the eyes. And in some form or fashion, that was a decision we made in life. Oop, there we go. Okay. So we got some form of light, so I wonder if that's affixed to this. I, the first visitor, one of many given to you by a nameless demon, it is half rotten and belongs to the very first entity to enter this realm. Unaware of itself and its surroundings, the former Great One witnessed the crumbling and the slow infestation that took place since the dawn of the Tainted Light. <coughs> After the violent killing of its physical form, it returned as a ghost and has been there ever since. It cannot out exist outside of this world, and it is only visible when it wants to hurt you. Lovely. The last being attempting to make a connection suffered a horrible death. Converts found remnants into insight. Okay, so those are, I guess, probably little Lord Nuggets. We're just gonna go ahead and steer clear of that big hand. That'd be great. Looks like there's another something up here. Yeah, these, I'll, I'll wager these are lore bits. And that's cool for me, actually, because it... Every culture's afterlife is different. Nope, hang on. Nope, I'll go to the next one. Yeah, I don't want to do that. There we go. Oh yeah, I apologize, because I actually had to adjust my um, setting, my window settings, because I couldn't hold that, so maybe that's the case. We'll just fiddle around. Remnant of a lost soul. I think I missed something, but I don't know why. Doubt that grows a sun cold. Spiral patterns and grinding teeth. Dirty light shining through barely open curtains. What if I could do it all again? Now that raises the me metaphysical question that a lot of us deal with in life. If I had the opportunity to start again clean slate tabula rasa would we do it and that also to dovetail off of that let's say we have the opportunity to repeat ourselves but while retaining knowledge of what we've done and that is the question i want to actually pass off to y'all as we're playing this increasingly creepy game if you had the opportunity to start afresh 
but had the knowledge to prevent repetitive mistakes, would you do it or keep down the same path? If you're interested in sharing, let me know in the comments. I'd be cool with it. Did that already. Here we go. Burning tires in the middle of the room. Lovely. Black gooey blood crawls up the walls. The horror reverberates in my skull, shattering my thin outer shell, exposing a deep dark red. Something's missing at the core. No nostalgia, just empty tape. Nothing but a simulated blur. Blur. I can talk. Tomorrow is going to feel like yesterday. God, I hope not. Tomorrow feels like today. I'm not going to be happy whatsoever because today was bad news. But I'm not here to talk about me. I'm here to talk about this game. And it's an, it's it's intriguing. It's subtle, but it's intriguing. And I wonder if for the demo, we just have to find all these little orbs. One, two, three, four... Four orbs. Because, I mean, okay, so on the Steam page, it says gathering three light and then attaching a decision. So I'm guessing, since this game isn't complete yet, since it's still in development, this is kind of just maybe a taste of things to come. But I hope we can explore a little bit more of this area, because I really do like that. Um, okay. Maybe... Hmm. Okay, so we gotta find something regarding that. Um... Good lord. You know, I feel like maybe some of this is draw is inspired by Dante. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I can't stop talking about Dante, but I mean, hear me out for a sec. We have the wall here, which could easily lead to the city of Dis, D-I-S, otherwise known as Circle Five. Um, dot dot dot. A new arrival, another soul. I've been locked here long before the skies turned red again, since the erasure of time and meaning. Wondering what you were doing here? I cannot tell you. Your purpose? Yeah, that, on the other hand. Ha ha, no, you'll find out soon enough. This is not a sane place. If you want to stay here, you are already lost. <coughs> I beg you, cross the threshold and end this nightmare. Do what you have to do, but please free us from this place. I cannot take this any longer. But beware, they are watching through his least favorite eye. Um, anything else you want to say? Okay. Okay, that's cool that now we're kind of initializing some dialogue. Kind of sets the stage. Maybe now that we have these three... I guess... Okay. So, I'm guessing we have half the orbs to open that gate. Um, let's go back down here for a second. Let's see if we can go through this gate. I feel like that city across the gap is the last thing we need to do. I'm going to give this pit the wide berth. Or actually, can we go down here, or will it kill us? You know what, there's bubbles coming out of that. I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, so we... So it's a little basic right now, and I, but, I mean, for a demo, we're just kind of getting the lay of the land. And I don't think we can do anything with that until we get all the orbs. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to skirt the edge really quick. Because I feel like now we really need to get to this cathedral over here. Now that we've talked to that one creature, maybe this will... Aha. Uh -huh.
Okay, so we've gotten part of things. Oh, okay, so there's even more here. Remnant of Lost Soul just open up. It's not that hard. Long road, no turns. Your best is not enough. Inertia in my bones. Something creeps when nothing burns. Okay, so. Clearly with things lighting up, we're making progress. This is just going to dump us full circle again. So what are we supposed to do? Here we are back at things betwixt. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's try something. I mean, it's only unlocking the lore, but I feel like maybe... a save point then? I don't know. Is there anything around the corner here? Should have explored this earlier. Nope, just a long way down. So maybe we can use that on the other doors? Yep, there we go. Uh, maybe there's something around. I mean, I feel like these little bits and pieces of light. Maybe actually, humor me. This is probably our exit. Sure as hell not gonna make that jump. So let's go ahead and move on. Is there anything around the corner here? Nope. That's cool. So these lights are only in the waiting room area, in the grassy area. Come on. Roll uphill. We really... We really have to fall to our death. Okay, now, hang on, we just got a little ramp here. Clever. Well, it let us out, though. here. There we go. Yes. Can we sneak around over here then maybe? Around the wall? Nope. Just enough to know. And we have to go all the way back. Hooray. Come on. There we go. Okay. So. Let's... Can we jump over the wall? I mean, that would be too easy, but... Let's see... I feel like I'm missing something here. Um... Is there anything else? On, like, the high part of the wall. Okay, so we're back down at the gallows. Like I'm missing something. I mean, okay, let's just try. Yep, okay, so that is instant death. So we retained all that. Yeah, definitely nowhere. We've already gone down there. Actually, let's see if this guy's changed his tune at all. Now that we've fallen into that pit. 
Still nothing. I wonder if that's the uh, the big demon thing. Okay, let's see if we can find that door that's, that's already been pretty well done. We can just like pick some flowers and. Okay, so. Okay, so what now? I have to say, this is getting a little bit tiresome. This game has a lot of potential so far with you. I feel like there's something that's lacking. Basically going full circuit right around now. Um, and I am watching the bottom of the screen to see if there's any triggers. So far, nothing. I mean, do we try to go for the Hail Mary? It's the only logical thing, actually. I bet this is a save point. It's gotta be what it is. What do you have to lose? I mean, we're gonna... If we die, we die. So let's just... We just wind up back where we started. Let's... Try our hand. We couldn't even jump. Walk, you died. like going hollow when you think about it like okay so this is like our third attempt and I feel like the only thing we can really do is go through every flower section and see if we can cull what could be an orb from these things. Which, personally, to me, seems a little bit... What the hell is that? Did we get another one? No. I heard... I thought I just heard it's a new sound effect. Interesting. So, down we go again. Um, this one doesn't offer much. Once again, right now I'm just tapping every button. Nope. I mean, let's look at options for a second because. See, there's nothing for me to... Um, maybe something behind the pit? No... I feel like these buckets or this gallows thing hold some sort of significance. But not enough. Um, I hate to say it, y'all. But this might be a very brief and kind of dull let's look at it. Almost like a first impression, because there, honestly, I can't figure it out. I've literally gone through almost every flower out here. And I still can't find anything. There's nothing over there. There's nothing around here. It's the, we're basically surrounded by the edge of the world. 
Now, I don't know if this demo is just supposed to give us the ability to kind of get the overall plot for ourselves, like a basic idea, and then let us do a little free roaming. So, I mean, some developers do that. Um... And I don't know if these are just the lore that... Yeah, um... I'll be honest with y'all, I'm kind of at a loss to what we need to do next. So I'm going to chalk this up to... The developer is just giving us a taste of this world to kind of hook us and draw us in. But if there is something I missed, which there poss there's a big possibility that I missed something entirely then let me know in the comments below. Um, I've already looked at this statue, but let's go ahead and look again. Yeah, because the orbs, the, the bright shiny orbs usually stand out a fair deal when compared to, say, like, the flowers. Um, to give it one final overview, let's just kind of see what stands out. I mean, I suppose we could try and jump over the wall over there. I mean, unless we need to, like, jump through hoops. I, I feel like almost like Sipodos might like this game a little bit more than my first impression, because Sipodos is really good at solving puzzles. Well, then again, but he and more to guess. So that's the quarter. Um, yeah, we definitely can't go over the wall here. I feel like this battlement, though, might have some kind of... I'm looking. I think, honestly, y'all, this probably might be a good place as any to stop, because I am at a complete loss. Um, yeah, first impressions, this game has a lot of potential. A ton of potential. But I feel like some instruction needs to be a little bit more fleshed out. I feel like the developer is adhering a little bit to the Dark Souls school um, of tutorials. Like, okay, well, here you are. I go for, have fun. But there's not enough to expand upon. Like, you have these little things here and there. So we had one piece of dialogue um, with that one thing. We were given an orb with a bit of lore behind it. But at the same time, I feel like there is something missing entirely. Now, I don't know if that's just because this is the Steam lineup, and I don't know if the Game Jolt version is different. I don't see any reason why they would be, but some things get ironed out. Who knows? So, um, I will be keeping my eye on this um, game and seeing what develops, and if there's any kind of patches or whatnot, yeah, I'll give this game another go. But I think this is as good a place as any to stop. But of course, my opinion doesn't matter, only y'all's does, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I read every comment, and I try to reply to every comment. Also, once again, a big thank you to Christoph Ray for being a sponsor of the Bogey Night Project. If you really, really do enjoy low-poly horror games in a similar style, uh, graphically speaking, as this, um, but with a more emphasis on story, ambience, and character development, do check him out. Link is in the description below. Very excellent content creator. Um, so, otherwise, with that being said, before I call tonight, if you like the Boogie Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel, and links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my temporarily defunct Twitch page, and if you're so morbidly inclined, you have my Patreon. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic night. And I'll catch you on the flip side, all right? Peace. Hey, y'all. While my gratitude knows no bounds for every single bit of love and support y'all have shown for me over the years, there are a few people that I legitimately want to take a few minutes to thank for their unending help and support. Uh, first of all, obviously, Christoph Frey, not just for being a sponsor of the Boogie Night Project, but also for letting me use his music from Gabba Transistor for in my streams, as well as him kind of coming up with his own little fragment for my new introduction to um, the Boogie Night Project. And speaking of introductions, the intro, as well as my YouTube banner page, um, were done by the amazing Oren. You might know him as Oren VDK, as well as Oren from Couple K. Cakes. 
Thank you so much, Oren. I really do appreciate the time you took to put together everything from the banner to the beautifully done introduction that merged perfectly with Kristoff's music from GABA Transistor. So big thank you to them. And also, this would not be possible with the help of my extremely amazing patrons, both current and former, uh, such as Lexi Kitty, Silverleaf, Barry Grave, Harkov, Jure, Larian, and Oren, as well as a few others that have come and gone over the years. Y'all, this would not be possible without your help and your support. Um, I know I have not been able to provide much in the way of um, uh, giving back in Patreon rewards, but I am in the process of revamping my Patreon as well as the rewards that I can do, so be prepared. Um, I know I joke about it, uh, saying that if you're morbidly fascinating, check it out, but if you do want to give um, to the Boogie Night Project, that is the easiest way to do so, and I am legitimately setting aside funds to buy more hardware for my computer, as well as making things look more professional but once again, very big thank you all to everybody who has supported me from the beginning all the way to the present, um, as well as those individuals that have gone out of their way to help. So once again, guys, thank you so much for all your constant love and support. My gratitude knows no bounds, and I'll catch you on the flip side. All right? Peace.